What is going on, YouTube? It's a beautiful day. I have, for you guys, another class setup video. And this class setup video is for Capture the Flag. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with the Assault Rifle classes. The M8, specifically. I love the M8, it's an awesome gun. Attachment-wise, it's going to go basically the same as the hard points of the video. Stock Reflex. I like to use Quick Draw. You can also use FMJ, I guess, if you really, really want to. I find Quick Draw more useful in CTF, though. So, this first class I'll show you guys is, like, the Parasite class. This class that Parasite uses. In fact, Parasite. So, Lightweight Toughness, Attack Mask Extreme. So, this makes it so that you can move faster with Lightweight. Got your Toughness, which you need. Attack Mask for stuns. You, like, need to have Attack Mask in CTF, by the way. It's extremely important. Everybody uses stuns, and if you get stunned with the flag, it's just like the worst feeling in the world. So having attack mask on is very important. Extreme conditioning allows you to run flags if you're in a situation, because, like, everybody likes to say, oh, I'm not the objective player, I don't want to run the flag, but everybody has to run the flag at some point. Like, if you're in a situation, sometimes everybody will be dead and you'll just have to be the one to pull it. it just happens. So having extreme conditioning makes it so that you can pull out your knife and run a little bit faster. So you can put your AR away, run with the flag. You can be a double threat, be more of a presence on the battlefield. The alternative to this class is, instead of using extreme, you're still gonna want attack mask. You can use probably like two EMPs or two stuns. I think EMPs are better personally because like everyone uses attack mask. So if you use EMPs, you can check where they are. It messes up their minimap, and the minimap is really important in CTF. So that's a a big thing if you can EMP somebody. And then obviously you want to have a double trophy class at all times for CTF. In case you get a sentry gun, you can just post up, have all that. That way people won't be able to EMP it and throw stuff at it. You can just D up if you're in the lead. It's really annoying, but it's effective. It has to be done if you want to win. So that's it for the M8 classes. Like, oh, another option is like if you really are... If you really want to, you can use like... Let me see, that's perfect for read. And you can use this class and just use stock reflex if you don't feel like you need quick draw. That way you can use EMPs or stuns or whatever you want to use. You know, sensor grenades even are an option in CTF. Not recommended, but they do work if you really want to use them. Alright, so for SMG classes, back to the old MSMC. You know, Scorpion, MP7, whichever one you want to use. I like the MSMC. Quick draw, long barrel. I use lightweight, toughness. And same perks, basically, attack mask and extreme. You're gonna want both of these. Some people like to use dead silence, but it's really like not nearly as valuable as the other of these. You wanna have extreme to run flags and you wanna have attack mask to not get stunned because everybody hates getting stunned. It's like the worst thing ever. Except for being on three bar, but that's bad too. So your options for this are, I usually run smoke some text, like smoke is really important as a flag runner. Because you can smoke out the flag, you can, if you're getting chased, you can like smoke out the area you're in and juke people out and play crazy tricks on people and stuff. So smoke is just, has a thousand uses. It's useful in hardpoint, but like it's like way more useful in CTF, I feel. There's just so much more you can do with it. So, that's one class. Another option is to use double EMPs, obviously. And you're going to want to pull that out when they get a sentry in. Because you want to EMP the sentry gun, of course. Also, if you want to, you can use like dual concussions or like a concussion and an aid or EMP and an aid. This, these last two slots are up to you here. I don't really use a pistol ever, not even with like an AR. I feel like there are better uses for that slot. Because if you're using a pistol, then like, especially in CTF where it's a little bit slower based, you really don't need a pistol. Like, the only reason you would use it is if you're missing shots. And that's a different problem altogether, so not going to worry about that. So that's like your main class. And then you want to have another class with Engineer, like just in case. Black Hat Engineer, because lately everyone's been doing the 8 trophies thing, 8 trophy systems to defend against EMPs, and it's very effective. So Engineer, Black Hat, let me think, what is this? Getting hit offline, give me a second. We'll get right back into that. 
But yeah, Black Hat and Engineer is the way to go nowadays for taking out sentry guns. Because with all the eight trophy strats and all that, EMPs are kind of irrelevant. It's going to be really hard to... I mean, you can try to be crafty with your EMPs and, like, sneak them in there. Take out the trophies with one and then, like, take out the sentry with another, but that's really hard and just not worth it. And no one wants to waste score streaks destroying a sentry gun. But that's always a good idea. If you have, like, a lightning strike and you're going to hit something, you might as well hit the, uh, the sentry gun while you're at it. Alright, so in this class I use... Lightweight, Toughness, Engineer, Black Hat, there it is, let me think, I guess you could use, like, Dead Silence with it, or probably Extreme Conditioning would be better, because you can get to the flag faster, there's a little, you can, you, you have some room for creativity with this class, or you can use Tack Mask, like, you're basically on a suicide mission when you pull this class out, you just want to get rid of that sentry gun at all costs. You can use two black hats if you want, like, you don't really need two black hats, but if there's, like, a million trophy systems, you can, like, I'm not sure if this is possible, but I think you can put, like, a trophy in front of the sentry so it blocks the black hat. But if somebody's doing that, then you can always use one black hat for the trophy and one for the sentry. That is an option. Otherwise, I don't even know what you'd use, like, you can use, like, a grenade for that last slot. Whatever you think would be useful. So, yeah, that's basically it. For the CTF classes, it's a bit more simple. Oh, you can make like an AN94 class too if you really want to, if you're gonna be that guy, you know. Dak Mask Extreme, basically the same as the MA class. Primary Gunfighter, Quick Draw. You need Quick Draw on the AN if you're gonna do that, like, because you don't play the same as if you have an MA, you kind of run around and you need Quick Draw because you're gonna be running and gunning a lot. So yeah, that's the AN class. That's basically it for these classes. Hope everybody uses them, has success, hope everybody enjoys them. Anyways guys, have a lovely day, as always. Oh wait, like the video if you like it, leave a comment, subscribe if you enjoy it for more content. I've been doing videos like every day, every two days, so subscribe for that. Anyways guys, have a lovely day, peace.